Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Honey Bree Shines. And for those who are joining me for the first time, welcome. Okay, so I have a few announcements before I get started on this unboxing video. First, as you guys know, I am fighting a cold, so please don't mind my nasally sounding voice. <laughs> yes, I do still have a cold, but I do feel much, much better. I was able to rest the past few days, but unfortunately, because I was resting, I wasn't able to diamond paint, which meant I couldn't finish my Miss Print Temps for the Love for All Seasons DP event. I am so sad about that, but I am going to keep working on her. I'm actually going to roll Miss Print Temps over to a few other diamond painting events. The first one is the Great Stash Down, so I'm going to be joining that one. And then I'm also going to be rolling her over to the DPF Spring Flings event. I think she'll be perfect because, again, she's all about spring. So, yay, at least I'm able to use her for some more events. And then hopefully, I'm hoping to knock her out in the next few days. And then I'll be able to move on to more events because I really, really want to do the Mermaids and Magic event. That is just all me right there. <laughs> and then um, I also want to do some other events that's going on um, in March. So, yeah, hopefully I can get Miss Prentice done. I still even have my damsel <laughs> event to do too. Oh my gosh. But yeah, this February was not my month and it set me back so much. But I just need to get back on track and keep on trekking along as my son is doing right now. Trying to run over my diamond paintings with his walker. But yeah, so that's kind of sun. Go. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had to readjust my camera since my baby boy is trying to run over my diamond paintings with his little walker. But that's kind of what I have going on event-wise. So going back to me having a cold, I know that some of you had some comments in my prior episode and concerns. So I just wanted to touch on that a little bit. Yes, we are fighting some colds here in this house. It is winter, so we are going to have that happen. But thankfully, we've been to the doctors and it's nothing really bad. It's just typical colds. So we don't have like COVID or we don't have super infectious diseases going on. And I guess the unfortunate thing about that is there aren't medications that we can take that are prescribed for these types of colds because again, it's just something we have to let it run its course. So right now we are living off of DayQuil medicine and emergency. <laughs> And as for my Etsy shop, um, I'm not sure if you guys seen any of my prior videos, but I do have a baby. She's two who has a tracheostomy tube and a ventilator. If you're not familiar with that, it's a breathing tube that runs through her trach and she also has a ventilator attached to that. So I do understand the value and the importance of cleanliness and bacteria and spreading germs and all that because my daughter is more inclined to get getting sick quicker being that she has what she has going on medically so I am very very careful when it comes to cleanliness and making sure that everything is clean and sanitized before sending anything out <laughs> so please do not worry about that and in all honesty, I triple glove, I mask up, I even wear a shield. So I make sure that none of my germs can get onto any of my products that I'm selling. Because again, you know, my customers are very important to me. And I want you guys to know how much I appreciate your business. And I would never jeopardize that in any way. If I did feel that it was necessary to shut down shop, I would definitely do that. But I don't think I'm at that point. And I don't think it'll get there because like I said, we're already on the mend and getting better regardless of what my nose may sound like. <laughs> but I do appreciate your concerns and I just wanted to address that just in case others had the same concerns but didn't have a chance to read the comments. So that was another thing I wanted to touch on. And then I just wanted to say, yay, we have 400 subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much for following me here on my channel as well as Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram too, I appreciate you guys so much again i wouldn't be where i am today if it weren't for all of you so you guys are everything and i just want you to know that you mean the world to me so thank you for that all right 
these babies came in yesterday. This is my new company, Diamond Dot Artistry. I've been waiting for these lovely diamond paintings to come in, and they did. But we had a little mishap yesterday with my son. Um, he had an accident, and we had to take him to the doctors. But I just want to report he is doing absolutely fine, and he is doing good. So um, thank you guys for all your concerns out there about him. But yes, he is doing fine. Hey. Are you good? Sorry, he's eating his little snackies here next to me. <laughs> oh, and here he goes running over my camera again. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to share with you a few of the diamond paintings I got. Today, I'm going to be featuring Karen Spencer. She is a licensed artist for Diamond Dot Artistry. I have two of her diamond arts here. I'm actually considering these two for the emeralds along. I don't know if I'll get to that event. I want to, but these are the two that I picked out from this stash that I got. So... <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I honestly can't pick, so I would be curious to know which one you guys would like better. So if you could leave in the comments which diamond painting you think would go better in the emeralds along, I would appreciate your input. And again, guys, if you are going to leave comments, please keep it kind. I am in no ways perfect and I am in no ways the best diamond painter in the world, but I love diamond painting and I love sharing these things with you guys and I'm just here to do that, to just share positivity and our hobbies and what we all love to do. So yeah, if you guys could please just keep your comments kind, I would really appreciate that. So without further ado, let's get into these babies. All right, so Diamond Dot Artistry boxes their diamond paintings in this beautiful box here. Look at how beautiful this is. So we've got what the package includes here on the side. So it's got the canvas, the diamond painting tray, a drill pen, painting mud, and of course, our colorful full rhinestones or drills as we know them. And then in the back here, we have instructions on how to diamond paint and another package included on this side. And here is our gorgeous girl that we're going to be unboxing. So she is called Spring Witch. Again, she is by Karen Spencer. She is a square diamond painting and a 50 by 70 centimeters. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the drills to the side for now. And let's open this beauty up. So Diamond Dot Artistry does use poured glue. So that means we can reverse roll this canvas to kind of help flatten it out. All right, guys, here we have this beautiful girl. She is Spring Witch by Karen Spencer. So at the top there, we've got the title as well as Diamond Dot Artistry's little fun logo up there. And their model is Artistic Fun Therapeutic. I love that because diamond painting has definitely been therapeutic for me. Down here, we have their website diamond.artistry.com.au and then we've got our schematics on both sides of our diamond painting so just to show you one of them here we've got our original photo and this is a 50 by 70 <laughs> this has 29 colors I'm not sure how many special drills are in this one. We're going to have to find that out together or if there even is special drills because it doesn't say on their website whether or not it includes special drills. So it may or may not include it, but again, we'll find out together. So here is the little diamond painting kit that comes with it. It's just the basic kit that we've got here. So we've got blue diamond painting wax, We've got a blue pen, a blue squishy, and our tray. So let's take a look at the canvas here. So this is our typical beautiful canvas that we've got. It is a fabric canvas. So if you can see the back, it is soft and it does have that, um, that fabric feeling material in the back here. It is thicker, so it is a nice sturdy canvas. We have our scalloped edges to prevent fraying. And then, like I said before, it is a poured glue canvas. And as for the symbols, we do have only alpha and numeric. So there aren't any symbols. They only use the alphabets and numbers. 
So if you can see here, again, this is a square diamond painting. So you can definitely clearly read all the symbols here. It's very, very legible, even in the dark areas. I mean, again, if you do need a little bit more assistance with viewing the symbols, you can always use a light pad. I use the Art Dot light pad and it works wonderfully and it definitely helps light up those dark areas if I need to. But yeah, it's very legible. I love how they print the coating on here. So it's definitely not going to be an issue to distinguish our numbers and our letters because nothing looks alike. Well, except for O and zero, but I don't think there's a zero, so <laughs> we won't have that issue. But yeah, this is our girl here, and I think she just looks absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, I just noticed that the light is not hitting this very well. So let me see if I can adjust this real quick. Hang on one second. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I just had to adjust the camera. Now you can see her. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I'll also put an original photo of this diamond painting. That way you can see what she looks like originally. But yes, no more glare on her. But yeah, I'm so sorry. I had to do this episode on my carpet because my island is currently occupied by my diamond painting <laughs> so i can't actually do my unboxing on my island like i usually do but yes here she is in all of her gorgeousness so let's get into the drills so we've got our drills here and they are individually bagged which i absolutely love because again it makes kitting down a lot easier and um if you can see here We've got so many greens going on, which is why I thought she would be perfect for the emeralds along. I don't think this one has special drills, which is fine because I have special drills that I got from Diamond Painting Drills. And um, I can definitely incorporate that as well as my jelly drills from Mooney Made. So we don't need special drills. I can definitely add her as I diamond paint. But I love all the greens in this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Her hair has this like mauve pink going on, which again, look at these pinks. I believe this is her hair. And look how beautiful that is. And if you look at the drill quality, it actually looks very good. I love the sparkle on it. I'm only seeing flat bottoms and I don't see trash, which I'm so happy about because I've been having some issues with square diamonds. And I don't know if it's just me or if it's because of the dark drills. So let's look at the black because I know the last square diamond painting I did, the blacks gave me such a headache. I had so much trash, but I'm not seeing any. This actually looks awesome, guys. Look at those flat bottoms. I don't see much trash or any trash, actually. So... And they look very consistent in size. I am loving these drills. You know what? I'm going to go grab a drill tray and I'm going to go open some of these up so we can actually see it up close. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So I just grabbed a Diamond Art Club drill tray. That way it's easy to see and small. So let's open up this black and see it up close. Drop some. All right, guys, there it is. Look at that sparkle. I love it. I think these drills look awesome, which I'm so happy because Diamond Dot Artistry does custom diamond paintings as well, and I'm looking to get a custom done, so I'm going to check this company out for sure. Look at that, guys. Come on. Tell me these aren't some of the best black drills you've seen. <laughs> They are for me. I love it. All right, so that's our drills. We've also got like these colors going on. Look at that. This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to get this one done. So this is, again, Spring Witch by Karen Spencer from Diamond Dot Artistry. And she is one of the diamond paintings that is in the running for the Emeralds Along. 
and I absolutely think she is gorgeous and I love it. All right, so let me go ahead and roll her back up, get her back in her box, and I will open the next one for you guys. All right, guys, so here is the second diamond painting. So similar box. Actually, I think it's the same exact box. And here is our girl, guys. So this one is called Hummingbird Summer. This is a round diamond painting, also by Karen Spencer. So I wanted to do a round and a square comparative. That way you can see both styles of their drills. And this is a 50 by 70. So let's get her open. All right, guys, so here she is. So I'll put the drills off to the side. We've got the similar diamond painting kit here. Diamond Dot Otter Street does use poured glue for the canvases. So you can definitely roll this reversely so that you can get a straighter canvas. And of course, if it doesn't straighten the way you want it to, you can always put it under a mattress or, or under some heavy books. That works as well. All right, guys, so here she is. So yes, it's called Hummingbird Summer by Karen Spencer. We've got our Diamond Dot Artistry logo at the top with the title, both schematics on, on each side, the left and the right. This one has 28 colors, and I'm gonna assume it doesn't have any special drills as well. This one looks like a lot darker colors. Um, it is actually greens in here, but they're gonna be really dark greens. So I'll open up the drills, that way you can see but let's take a look at the canvas up close real quick so we've got the same fabric canvas as the last diamond painting we've got the scalloped edges sorry there goes my son again and then here's the symbol so this diamond painting is darker which means that it might be a little bit harder to see so i'm not sure if you can see that but this one is also just alphanumeric so we won't have issues with any symbols not being recognizable but i am seeing that in this darker area here it is kind of hard to read i might have to use my light pad for that um looking at it with my bare naked eye not in the camera though i can see it but it is a little difficult in the darker areas. I love that it does have that circle, circle guide around it, which of course you know I love because it does help me guide my drills on here when it comes to round drills. But there she is, guys. And then of course I'll go ahead and put an original photo. That way you can see what she actually looks like. All right, so let's get into the drills real quickly. So same like the other one, our drills are in individual baggies, which of course always makes it easier for kitting down. And we've got our colors here. So I'm not sure if you can tell in the camera, but it does have a lot of greens in there. They're just really dark greens. So this is like a really dark, it's kind of like an olive green brownish color. Sorry, don't mind my baby up there. <laughs> so if you can see, like this is like a nice olive green color. So it's just a really dark green. But there are a lot of greens in here. When you see the original photo, you'll see what I'm talking about. But I know it's kind of hard just to see um, from the bag itself. Especially through the camera, the colors don't always pull through the greatest. But let's open one of these drills. Let's do this purple. Look at that purple. Isn't it gorgeous? My baby really wants to be in this video, apparently. <laughs> He's trying so hard to get in it. Okay. So here we've got this purple. So let's see how this one looks. So here we have it. This is a purple. So if you can see, it has a pretty nice sparkle to it. The sizes are very consistent, which I'm happy about. And I don't see trash. They also have really flat bottoms, which we all know is always a must-have <laughs> for diamond painting drills. But yeah, I love it. I think their drill quality is awesome. Again, I am going to have to look up whether it is acrylic or resin drills because I'm personally, I'm not sure. But I will definitely look up and get that answer for you. And yeah, well, there we have it, guys. We have our Hummingbird Summer. 
And we have our Spring Witch, which I am going to decide which one will be used for the emeralds along, if I even <laughs> am able to enter that one. But yeah, take a look at the original photos. Let me know what you guys think. And um, I'm going to do like a little vote, I guess, which one I should do. And if I'm lucky enough to, or I shouldn't say lucky enough, if I'm quick enough to finish one, maybe I'll be able to do both. But if I had to choose one, guys, let me know what you think. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. If you haven't already please subscribe to my channel. I'll definitely be having a lot more unboxings for you guys. I think what I'm going to do is rotate the orders that I just got in. So I have Crafties, I have Diamond Dot Artistry, and I have the one with the Diamond Art. So I'll rotate those canvases out. That way we can see what different artworks they have. And quality wise, I mean, like I said, it's going to be different for crafties, I noticed. But Diamond Dot Artistry and the one with the diamond art seems to be pretty consistent. So I don't think it's going to be so much of seeing the quality more of the artwork and how, how it renders so yeah and if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave it in the comments below i'll go ahead and link everything in the description box that you saw in this video and as well as the shop and you guys can check out their diamond arts all right well like this video and again please subscribe if you haven't already we've actually reached 400 subscribers yay so thank you guys so so much for following me and being a part of this journey with me diamond painting has really impacted my life in such a positive way that i cannot even begin to explain so thank you so much for joining me on this journey and i hope you guys are enjoying it i know my videos kind of had a halt the past couple of days due to our sicknesses but i'm going to get back into it and you'll have more episodes coming your way and hit that bell if you want notifications on that all right guys well you guys have a good day and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye